Hey everyone, welcome back. So part two, I'm gonna be sharing in this video, I'm super excited for this by the way, because this is something that I've held on uh, for quite a while, kept very quiet, and I've only ever shared this method uh, with very few people. So do stick around to the end, and also once I share this method of finding genuine, I repeat genuine below market value deals, Leave me a comment because I'd be so interested to hear if you've ever used this or heard of this method before. So really excited, let's get into it. Hey, so I am super excited to share this with you now because this is something I've kept very close to myself. I've only shared with minimal uh, people and those who I have spoken about with finding uh, off-market deals, they've never heard of this model. So it's very strange because it's not widely used. And look, again, if you have used this method, leave me a comment because I'd be very interested to hear of your success because those who I have shared this model with have actually gone on to have success and been offered below market value deals. This is completely genuine and so many do not know this. So listen in, tune in to the end of how I'm gonna explain of how you can apply this to your own investment journey within property. So I'm gonna pop it up here, all gonna be revealed, the Gazette. So the Gazette is an avenue which you can find probate properties. So I'm gonna pop up a video as well of, of me going through it here. But once you go onto Google, stick in thegazette.co.uk and at the top, when you go on the Gazette, there will be a part for probates and wills. Click on that, and that'll give you a drop down, very similar to right move. It will give you the option to put in the postcode and the radius of what you want to search, which I imagine would be your local area or wherever your investment interest is. Now, bear in mind, just before we continue, please be really sensitive around this because people have passed, this is probate, and those who inherit the property uh, is gonna be a very sensitive time. So although this offers opportunity and there is genuine business to be done and there are a lot of win-wins through this way, um, you also have to be very, you know, be careful, mindful, and just respectful of what's actually happened and how this uh, opportunities come about. So, what it will do is once you hit search, it will give you a list of everyone who has unfortunately passed away within recent time, and it will give you their address. So the first thing to do now is to note down the addresses that you want to look at, hop onto Google Maps, quick street view, take a look, and see if it's the right property for you. Then what you can do is take that postcode, pop it into right move. Now this is you cross-referencing to see if it's even on the market yet, because obviously it will show you the list of who's passed and it will give you the date of when they've passed. So those most recent, it's very unlikely that the properties yet are on right move. Now, nine times out of 10, when someone inherits a property, let's say a grandparent or a parent has passed and uh, the son or daughter or both inherit, because they're not financially attached to the property, they are emotionally, but nine times out of 10, they just want to sell. So what's the normal process? It goes through probate, goes with the solicitors, and the solicitors normally recommend actually uh, agents that they work with. So we now need to be that middleman. We need, now, we need to find this opportunity in the middle. So what we are able to do is it will offer us the solicitors, you know, the executor, and we get in touch with them. So you can automate all this, by the way, when a property comes up in your criteria, very much like Rightmove, you can actually have an automated system where an email gets sent uh, to the solicitors to say, look, I'm a local property investor, um, I have cash available, and I would like to take the opportunity to perhaps talk with the, the vendors now on perhaps purchasing and making this a very stress-free, uh, you know, handover, a takeover of the property if they are looking to sell. Because if they are, we'd love to speak, uh, we'd love to build a relationship with you, the solicitor. So that's one way you can do it. But what I would suggest doing is that you contact the solicitors of those of the properties that you're interested in and you make a call and you just say, look, I'm a local investor, I know this is obviously um, a bit of a sensitive matter, but I'm looking to purchase property in the local area. And what I want to do is offer a very hassle-free, very straightforward purchase from those that have inherited properties to now who are looking to sell. Now, you've got to remember, this is kind of the winning part here. The solicitor are not emotionally attached to an estate agent, um, you know, the clients that they're working for, who they're doing the probate for. They are just looking to get the business done. They charge the those who have inherited the property, they charge them the fees for doing all the works. So if you can build a relationship with a solicitor 
essentially that becomes your black book estate agent. So instead of going through an estate agent where they want to make their fees, you're cutting them out. And with a solicitor, imagine this, okay, I'm gonna just paint this picture, so bear with me. Imagine you build two really good relationships with two local solicitors who are uh, you know, common executors for those who pass away in that local area. Imagine if you were able to build up a relationship, uh, you go on to do a deal with someone who's inherited a property, uh, you give the solicitor a nice box of chocolate, nice bottle of champagne for passing on the details. What then happens is if you go on to do a very successful deal with those who have inherited the property, because the bonus is here, those who are trying to sell the property, they haven't got to go to an estate agent. That's a huge point. They haven't got to pay the fees. They haven't got the hassle of paying for all the legals. Because what I do want you to do, and I recommend it, because in the long run it's peanuts for picking up a very good deal, is offer to pay the legals. Because now from the image of those who are selling the property, they're thinking, I haven't got to pay estate agent fees. I haven't got to pay legal fees. These guys are cash buyers and it's been completely stress-free and they're gonna take it off my hands within the next four to five, six weeks. So if that went through very smoothly, what's the, the solicitor gonna think? They're gonna think, wow, that went through really smoothly. We did probate and our clients ended up selling the property completely stress-free. Do you think that solicitor now is gonna ring you up next time there's a probate property? Then they're gonna ring up and say, hi Aaron, just to let you know, there's another three bed probate property. Um, I don't know if you're in a position to buy. And now we've got two options. We can either look to buy it, or we may know an investor that wants to buy it. So now we've built up a relationship. So we are cutting out the estate agent. Estate agents are hard to work with. We're now building up a relationship with the solicitors who are constantly, constantly dealing with probate property. So now we have our black book of off-market deals. They're not going on to right move because it's fresh. Um, you know, someone has part, unfortunately passed away go through the probate and the solicitors call you first. So that's the picture that I've painted. Now imagine you had two or three solicitors within a local area, within, within 20 miles of each other, who all called you because you got the first deal done. So the first deal is so crucial that you get done. So I hope this has offered some insight because the Gazette is a true and genuine way. You just have to be really respectful, mindful and careful about how you go approaching it. Whether you want to open an introduction via email to the solicitor, you know, perhaps providing some information, then follow up with a call. But what you can do is, you know, if you do end up building a relationship, all I do is I recommend that you, you know, every Christmas, um, every birthday of perhaps the branch manager, as you send some nice flowers, box of chocolates, a uh, nice bottle of red wine, and just keep them uh, very happy. Because what they will do is then you have an endless, this endless supply of off-market deals. And again, if you are a cash buyer, you're gonna be able to leverage that and say to those who have inherited the property, I can't pay this for it. However, you're gonna be saving estate agency fees, legal fees, because we're gonna cover all of that and we're gonna be able to buy that. So that's the first point. The second one that I want you to look at, and I'm not gonna dive in too much, is Gumtree. Gumtree, we are seeing more direct to vendor, more vendors selling themselves. So also check out Gumtree because that's becoming a really widely used method now, more so than the Gazette, but Gumtree again is ways that I've found off-market deals and you can really negotiate. So those are the two ways, Gazette being the primary. In the third way, uh, sorry, in the third part of this three-part video, um, I'm gonna share with you how we can also use the Gazette to also then go on to maximize and make uh, lump sums with cash to then reinvest into our own portfolio. So I've really enjoyed sharing with that. I've kept that quiet for a very long time. It's not widely used. And again, if you have used it, please leave me a comment, guys. Again, hit the like button. Do subscribe to my channel. Hope you got a lot of value from this and I look forward to seeing you in part three.